Hey there, it's Jenny. I am starting a journal this year. I am using journaling prompts that I found from an account on Instagram. I'll link the account below. And I'm using the horizontal pages from the Coco Daisy Daisy Planner. If you recall, I'm using the vertical pages for my memory planner with photos. I a okay, let me start. I punched the wrong side of the inserts quite a few of them actually before I noticed that I was punching the wrong side of the inserts. So the way that I'm going to combat this is by putting washi tape over the two edges. It actually works out great. It adds some more decor to it and luckily for me decor is great because this is a journal. I'm going to stamp the month at the top each month and then add some decorations as well. So you see me cleaning those off right there and the stamped bit. Now I'm using the Coco Daisy Elegance Blooms collection for this one. I just wanted some odds and ends and bits and pieces so I punched a piece of the pattern paper and I'm placing that at the top and then I'm going to add some stickers as well. I'm going to add a visual triangle to the week with my three main pieces of a decorative cluster which is the background, the accent, and the anchor. And that's going to be it. These pages are going to be decorated super simply because as I said before they're going to be a journal and I'm going to use the prompt as well. So I need quite a bit of room to write especially because I have such large handwriting. So you can see how I use the washi to cover the holes that I mistakenly punched and then you see the first cluster up there at the top. So here is a circle punched pattern paper, a bigger sticker with some text on it and then just a small little cluster of hearts. I just think it's really really pretty. I also at the beginning of the month put all of the dates for the weeks since this is an undated planner on a sticky note. That way I know, okay, what week is this? What kind of decor do I want to add? And then also when I go back later and add the dates when I do the journaling. I'm not trying to go crazy here. Like I said already, this is a journal. And so I'm keeping it simple. This isn't meant to be like, oh my gosh, I want it to be really super extravagant. I want to make sure that I can keep up in it. Now with that said, it's February 1st and I have not started before today but I'm going to put in a lot of work over the next few days in order to get caught up and then I will have this journal throughout the year and I'm really looking forward to it. So now we're going to go on to the next page and you can see right there how the punches are on the outsides of the pages. Isn't that crazy? I'm using these stickers from Simple Stories and I thought they were adorable and I used them in January as well but I couldn't help myself because I really like the color palette a lot and because I live in Southern California and we don't get snow, I don't get the opportunity to use wintry type supplies very often. So I figured since I could do whatever theme I wanted in this journal, I might as well go for it and use a very wintry little theme. Now you can see I've got all those stickers down and you see my visual triangle right there. I'm going to use this light blue grid washi tape to cover up the punched holes over there on the sides. And so you can see I just simply lay the washi down that goes up to the edge and then I trim the edge off and that's it. That is literally it. So it keeps it really, really simple and helps me with the, yeah, the mistake that I made. I, I, I was so excited. I, you know, I was punching, I was getting ready. I was setting up my planners and then I realized, oh God, I did not do a very good job there. So it's okay. It, you know, it's no big deal. Now I'm stump, stamping the, the date February and I'm using this close to my heart ink pad. I bought this ink pad and a couple of others to see if it would work in my Hobonichi. It really doesn't. It bleeds for me in my Hobonichi but I still really like the colors of all three of them very much so I'm not bummed that I purchased them but they don't work in my Hobonichi. And I'm going to use the VersaFine, the black VersaFine, to layer this February on top of the other one. I absolutely love that. I think it looks so cool and I'm really excited about it. So now I am going to put those away because it is time to move on. You can see that, look at that, it all turned out great. I'm super excited about it and it's totally different than the week before. I will link these, all the supplies up as best as I can in the comments below as well. All right, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing again, except for this time I am using some really old Doodlebug stickers in my stash. Again, this is a great way to 
to use up some stash stuff too. This journaling, like I really, really wanted to document some of my thoughts and, you know, use some different prompts to like kind of go deeper. And so this journal is going to do that for me. And these, this is a great way to add another small, low impact creative project. Now look at those cute little teacups. Hopefully you can see those. And then the pop tarts and the toaster. Oh my God, adorable. Now I was struggling a little bit with what washi tape to use because I didn't know, like I didn't have one already in mind. So I decided to go ahead and stamp the date first instead because I was still struggling. Now you can see right there, I'm going through the swatches of the ink pads that I've done. I've done a swatch for all of my colored ink pads. And this way I can check out what the color looks like stamped on paper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that up there. So pretty, I love this color. I think it's called Peony from the Stamp Market and it's just a beautiful one. All right, so there's that washi. I went ahead and searched through my stash of washi to find one and it's, again, it's, a, it's an old favorite of mine. I love this one a lot but it doesn't get used very often because I only use little strips of washi here and there and oftentimes it's from a kit, but no matter, this looks great. I'm really excited about it. Now I'm just gonna trim those little tails of the washi off the pages and this week is completely finished and then I've just got one more to finish up. And I just really pleased with this. It's such a quick project and I get a little bit of extra creative time. And then I can also fulfill the wish that I had to do the journaling. Now you can see again, I'm cleaning the stamp. I'm just using this microfiber cloth and a stamp cleaner. This is what I've been doing for a couple of months now. And I think this is my new permanent solution to cleaning my stamps. I was having difficulty finding the baby wipes that I liked that were wet enough that didn't have lint, so I sort of backed off on the baby wipes for that. And then also, I just felt kind of bad throwing away a baby wipe every day with, you know, when I didn't really need to, I could use something a little bit more earth friendly. Okay, so now I'm back to using the Coco Daisy kit, but this time I pulled out a couple of these frames from the memory keeping kits to use as the background pieces to my clusters. And I thought it was really fun. I have a lot of the frames and it's a good way to use some of them. And I really end up loving the way that it looks in the end. So it's kind of a win-win, right? I definitely want to make a huge focus this year on using my stash, which can be difficult to do if we're not mindful about it, right? Because it's super easy to just buy new stuff and put it with the rest of the stuff that we have. But I wanted to make sure that I was doing a decent job of using the stuff that I have. So yes, this is the February Coco Daisy kit. However, as you can see, I'm using it. I'm really getting into it. And I love that so much. It's, it's definitely something that I'm enjoying a whole lot. So you can see I'm just trimming the washi off right here around the edges. It's so pretty too, it's just this beautiful floral. And then I need to stamp the month as well and then that's it for me. Thank you so much for checking this out and watching my journaling video. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna put as much detail as I can down in the comments below. But if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.